Okay. Hello, my finest friend. No, you don't, Mewani. <laughs> Let me just do you the show. Talk and in the intro. Why? Only. Why is this American? Adult. What, what accent's this? This um, accent's all over the place, Fluffy Rabbit. You don't speak French, do you? Because I am. You're French, are you? Yeah. There's too many French characters on this already. We can't Wait, have another what? French character. You're French, then. No, the the nosy carrot and the birthday donkey, Le Ban Versailles, is a very clever joke. Is, um, is and also, also Little Richard put us, put us in a box. And then he put us in a crasher, and then he put us in the swamp, and then an alligator ate us and pulled us out, What's the and point we were this? still in the box, and then um, lava came, yeah. and we and then we evolved into boxes, and then <laughs> and, then, and then I killed a rapper, and Sparkle killed a giraffe. Okay, well, it's nice to not be up to date. Actually, Ali wanted to come and apologise to you for his being rude to you last week. Hello, Victorian ghost child. It's me, Ali. And I'm very sorry that I swore... Stop! I'm very sorry... You're annoying little poo-poo. <laughs> don't, don't you... I'm apologising. Don't you be rude to me. Yeah, I can you be rude to you, little poo-poo. brat. Poo-poo. Uh, I said a uh, yeah, very rude thing, and your daddy told me that you are upset by the rude thing I said. And I want you to know it's nothing to do with your daddy. He has no control over what I say. I don't have any control over what Ali says. It was Ali who said it. And he's very rude. Don't bring that. You can't touch that one. Clap. Clap. No one can clap, see that. Clap, <laughs> no, clap, one, clap, no one can clap. see what you do. Um, so anyway, there we had an apology from... Oh, look, it's the Duke of York. Oh, the Duke of York had a thousand men. And he used them to it's kill just, that. Passing. Yeah, that is pretty good. Uh, me and Ali are cl- crashing a bit in colour today. I'm wearing the York City uh, 100 a year anniversary top. And oh my God, the Duke of York's moving his head around. Is it very, very adept? No, I'm not. I'm you can, not. Can't, you're not. He can't move his mouth. He's, he's eventualizing. All right, enough of this self indulgence. It's time for your bed, Victorian ghost child. You've had your apology from the, sc- the creepy man who t- told you it was all him, not me. Did you listen to that bit? I uh, I I agree that we should kill him. Now, who agrees with me? Put your hand up. Well, that's the kind of thing okay. Prince Andrew would um, do, to be um, fair. Okay, that's three against two. Outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All I'm right, doing a chicken Put him dinner. Back there. Give me pasta. <laughs> Go away. Right, night, night, darling. I love you so much. Night, night, Fluffy Rabbit. I love you so much. Don't tell my actual daughter that I love the Victorian ghost child so much. She'll be upset if I told my actual daughter. Okay, Um, did you know we have new equipment and that's why Daddy's doing so bad? (laughs) Because he ruined everything. Out. Go to bed. Watch out. Bye, stupid (laughs) owl. We have got new equipment. My daughter is correct. I mean, the Victorian ghost child is correct about that. Um, And... uh, Goodbye, go away, because if I start swearing and you hear it, it'll be your fault. Yeah, I want to learn new swear words. (laughs) Because I know some of it. Yeah, we don't want to know which swear words you know. Go to bed, thank you. You shouldn't know any swear words, you're only seven years old. I don't know where you would have heard swear words before. But you mean. Go to bed, darling. Hello, my finest friends, welcome. We've got an all new. Phoebe, go to bed. Um, we've got a broad brand new system here. Still the same uh, daughter interrupting. Um, uh, we've got, thank you to Bernie, uh, Bethany Black, who uh, set up, uh, we've got two, so I've got a screen here, I can see the show, and I've got a soon screen here that when I come to check it, I can Google straight away onto the computer there, so that's pretty good. Uh, and hopefully it's going to be quieter. So it's making a little dink, dink, dink sound every now and again. There's a big thing here. If you look on Twitter, there's a picture of the whole setup. It's quite delightful. I hope you will uh, enjoy this and I hope it will all work okay. It actually seems to be working fine at the moment. Uh, I've hung my... Uh, seriously, imagine being rich having child. Yeah, it'd be amazing. 
Uh, what a great dad I am. Anyway, Ali, how are you? I'm there, well, Richard. I'm sorry for swearing and upsetting your child. But she didn't tell me till yesterday. She was, she'd was, she heard you and she said that you called her stupid and uh, annoying or something. I don't remember that. Well, I, you know, I had, to, I had to carry the can for you because of what you said. So, you know, think on. Think on, your majesty. Um, okay, that's that one. I'm just checking the things. Let's go. You ready? I'm... I'm linking at it. It's so hard to do this. Why am I finding it so hard? Uh, sorry, why are you finding uh, I'm linking at it. Yep. Yeah. I'm cheeky me. There we go. We're getting good. We're getting good. We can work this up. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. That's the show for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. That'll be it. Goodbye. Um, not really. We're just going to have a little mess around and then we'll go. I think uh, we might be back next week. So I think I might be going to a party next week. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty in demand. And um, I am recording a, some more stand-up for Can I Have My Ball Back on Wednesday at the Phoenix. Would love to see you there. This fella is going to be uh, interviewed. This bollock, he's just there. Got, everyone's got a place on the table now. Um, and, oh, she just fell over. Uh, and uh, also I'll be doing some ball-based stand-up for the forthcoming Can I Have My Ball Back podcast uh there's another rahalista pot on monday i'm gonna be pretty tired next week i've just realized uh because i'm filming in manchester on sunday and then coming back to do rahalista pot on monday with sophie alice bexter and nick mohammed very good lineup uh not so many tickets come on guys the leicester square theater are going to kick me out unless we start selling tickets or a bit more for the little littler shows but uh, why nick mohammed and sophie alice bexter is a little show i don't know what are you doing? Can the Victorian go breathe? Let go away, darling. Can I read? No, go to bed. Please. No. I'm doing my serious show. I want to read. No, baby. Reading is serious. I'm going to put the thing on and can, you'll be in trouble. If I come down there, you'll be in trouble. Okay, can I read? No, go to bed. Bye. Go to bed. Please. No. Please, or maybe just read it. No. <laughs> what, can you read on your own? Yeah, oh yeah, you can read on your own. I thought you want to read on here. Yeah, go and read something. Go to sleep. Stop wrecking my show. You don't see this on, uh, you know, The Last Leg, do you? Or, you know, Alan Partridge. <laughs> you must not read. I thought you wanted to come and read on the thing. I'm not... <laughs> uh, anyway, so do that. Also, look, we're doing some eBay stuff. My, her my eBay Herring 1967... Um, they'll probably do a bit more because we've got to pay for this uh, equipment that we foolishly purchased. Uh, so there is a my Rahalister per book notebook for series 22 and 23, which is Pickle Rick. Uh, those have gone for 1500 quid sometimes. It's currently on about 200 quid, but there's autographs of some of the stars. It's pretty nice memento for any Rahalister fan. And there's also uh, the PR pack for Can I Have My Ball Back, which includes a uh, mini stress ball of right bollock which are very rare uh i sent them out to a few celebrities and i haven't seen a single celebrity tweet about it or take show a photo of any of it it's pretty annoying i've got a few packs uh, that i might sell or send out to people over the next few weeks but uh, you get the book and you get a few other bits and you get some Frere Rochers. you get all sorts of cool stuff that hardly anyone has and that all the celebrities have thrown in the bin uh, even though we made some handmade right bollocks for them which will be worth a lot of money and they don't realize i gave one to richard osman in person he said you're very good at coming up with stuff like this aren't you and has he tweeted it fuck that nah, has he has he fuck too busy being in love and getting married and, and writing books anyway so that's all that stuff uh do do that um Let's have a look at the news, shall we? I'll see, see how this system's going. I mean, I'm not feeling on top of the... Are you feeling on top of the world? I'm doing all right, Richard. I've been quiet. Yeah, you were quite reserved. Um, I should say, uh, I got my blue passport there. Look at that. It's blue as the dark of night. It's as blue as the ace of spades. Um, it's a very... You know, that's what we did Brexit for. There it is. And... Um, you know, now we can go back in the EU. I've got my blue, my royal blue passport. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and uh, can you hear that little tick, tick of that computer? It's going to be sli slightly annoying me. Maybe we could move that a bit further. No, we can't really, can we? Uh, okay, it'll be all right. Can you hear it? There, tick. 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 
little ticks. Ah, well, we'll see how that goes. Um, no, can't hear it. Tick, a little tick. I'm glad you can't hear it. I can't hear it. And maybe I'm just going mad, you know, maybe. Uh, a beautiful thing to have. Uh, British passport is worth all the, the hassle. It's the most shoddily made thing I have ever seen in my life. My children bring home better stuff than this. They are very good at art, but it feels like it's been put together by some... It probably has been put together by some, uh, you know, refugee children, hasn't it, somewhere? It's certainly not made in Britain, so there's the irony. Uh, but that's why we, we all knew what we were voting for when we voted for Brexit. That's what we were voting for, and I've got one today. And uh, I've got my old blue British passport somewhere, and it's a lot nicer quality, I have to say, bigger. Uh, but if we'd really exited properly diamond hard Brexit, everything would have been fine. But there we go. That's the good news. Um, what else? I've got this for you. I thought you might like uh, this story. Um, Jeremy Hunt says Boris Johnson's £840 a roll gold wallpaper is already peeling off. Apparently this was a... Funny joke from, I've got to be careful saying his name, make sure I get it right. Jizzini uh, cunt, do you, Jizzini cunt? Let's not do the same thing as last time. Let's do it, do the light. Jizzini cunt, Jizzini cunt, Jizzini cunt. Some people think I'm saying jizz on me, sorry, he's saying jizz on me cunt. I think he's saying jizz on me cunt. But you know, who knows? Jizzini cunt, Jizzini cunt. Jizz in the cunt, jizz in the cunt, jizz in the cunt. He's just won an award for uh, the best political comeback. Something like that or the whatever. Um, I'm disappointed that uh, the Joe Lysett got a mention in Parliament this week by uh, Keir, Keir Hardy, is it? Uh, and uh, the Labour guy. He's been going for a long time. And um, he, he couldn't remember. He didn't say his name and he didn't get it quite right what had happened. But I'm surprised, you know, old... Uh, Nicola Sturgeon hasn't come out and gone, Jizzimmy cunt. Jizzimmy cunt. Jizzimmy cunt. Jizzimmy cunt. Jizzimmy cunt. I mean, we could just do an hour of that, if you like. I'm, I'm very happy to do that. Uh, this is more, this is some royal news. Now, I was quite surprised to see this. I've got this, uh, I can check it. I've got it on my phone somewhere. Let's get the news up on here. Because, uh, <clears throat> Just take, I should do this before I'm ready and I should have my glasses on. Follow, save stories. Here we go. Is it here? Not sure I've even saved it, so I don't know what I'm looking at. But uh, the Queen Consort, I thought she was called, uh, Camilla, has delivered some padding to bed tributes to Bernardo's children. Uh, but this article in the Times calls her the Queen, uh, which uh, the Queen arrives and made me go, What? She's back! The Queen arrives for a marmalade sandwich picnic with dozens of friends in tow. Queen delivers the whole article. It's not just a shorthand in the deadline for the Queen consort, Camilla. She's called Queen. Not in thy name, Richard. No, you don't like. No. Diana is always denied Queen. She's the Queen of thy hearts and the Queen of thy cock. The Queen of thy tatty and that's very cock. That's probably, that's the tribute she probably would have wanted. And uh, I just want to say that Camilla should never be the Queen. I said she'd never good thee. And yet here she is being called the Queen. The Queen isn't even cold in the ground. Well, she's probably been... <coughs> you don't think she's cold yet? No, she's not cold. They've probably got a little t heater in there to keep her warm for as long as possible. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. Um, you know, she was the Queen. She deserves the best. So, you know, this is them trying to slit it in, Richard. You know, and not the first time that Charles has tried to slit it in. As whilst Canilla is concerned. I'm cheeky me. I sit on it. Canilla, sit on it. And she don't sit on it, Camilla. I don't want you to sit on it. Keep, keep the weight from it. Do not sit on it. I'm not winking at it. Uh, I am not winking at it. Ah, uh, there we go. If I, yeah, that's quite, if, I get, if I get it right, I can do it anytime. I'm winking at it. There you go, look, I can do it. I'm winking. can make my hair go up now. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm cheeky me. You're not being very cheeky, are you? Aside, I'm not cheeky. I do not like Camilla. Uh, she, she betrayed Princess Diana. She killed Princess Diana. I don't think she did. Um, I was talking to my daughter about the uh, Princess Diana today and uh, uh, suggested that some people thought she'd been murdered. But we talked about the, how awful the royal family had been. You know, it wouldn't be it, it wouldn't be out of form for the royal family to, I don't know, sleep with underage girls, murder their wives with an axe. Um, so, you know, it's not beyond 
it's not beyond the realms of possibility, but it really made me feel uncomfortable. And I didn't even like the Queen. I'm not going to go as far as say as I hated the Queen. You sit on it. Don't say that. That's not appropriate. Sit on it. Elizabeth the second. You don't make it specific. Sit on it, Queen Elizabeth the second's vagina. What vagina? What are you saying, vagina? Yeah, that's not. She's the Queen, and we should have some respect for that. So please, um. Do respect that, but it made me it jolted me. I didn't. I don't think that's right. I don't think Camilla has a right to call herself the Queen in the same year as the Queen was the Queen. They should have at least waited twenty twenty five, and then maybe start slipping it in. Going, oh, I forgot to say consul. Um, next story, please. Um, I just thought this was a nice headline. Tom Cruise has been causing havoc on the set of Call the Midwife. How do you imagine that? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Tom Cruise told the Athan at the uh, the midwife based the birth based comedy drama. Is it a comedy drama? I've never seen it, nor have I. Uh, uh, Jenny Agard is in it, and uh, that's good enough for me. You like Jenny Agard? I am a fan of Jenny Agard. You watched that uh, American Wolf in London video, didn't you? For a long time. Well, I did watch the American Wolf in London video. It's a very good. Movie. There's certain bits that seem to have been watched a bit more than other bits on there. I don't know. Probably, I probably enjoyed watching the the, the special effects and stuff. To, uh, David turning into a werewolf. You know the kind of the, those. Scenes. I don't think it was those scenes that the the, the tape went a bit cloudy, didn't it? A bit fuzzy. I'm not, I don't remember. On certain bits that I think got really played quite a lot, involving Jenny Agutter. Well, she's a fine actor, so. Uh, also, all of Walkabout. I don't. I didn't have a tape of Walkabout. All, also, Logan's run the bit where she's swimming in the pool. She's very good at the acting of swimming in. She when you watch that her swimming in that pool in Logan's Run, it's almost like she really is swimming in a pool. That's how good an act she is. So I'm very much behind Jenny Agutter. Yeah, that's what she said. Don't do other people's catchphrases. Okay, Raptors. Um, I'm behind her. I'd like to get behind her. Sit on it, Jenny. See, I think Jenny, I get to do not respect Jenny, disrespect Jenny in that way. Do not respect her, do not disrespect her. You said don't respect her. Yeah, but I'm, that's me. I'm allowed to disrespect her, but you, I'm, you must, you must respect her. And she's a wonderful actor and amazing. She still looks good and dressed up as a nun. She's a, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. They know what they're doing. They, they know what they're doing. Anyway, um, but it's hard to imagine what Tom Cruise... Had done. I think Tom Cruise was cut down begging for a heart in on Call the Midwife. I think he wanted to play a baby. He wanted to play a, what, a baby, a baby. He wanted to play a baby that was being born. A, what a baby that was being born, and uh, he uh, just insisted on emerging out of the actress's uteri, out of their uteri. Yes, get the plural right, Richard. Have you gone and thought they're doing it? Wrecking scenes, because it was said to be a tiny child, not a small man, leaping around going, woohoo, I'm so in love, woohoo. He's done other things than that. Not a tiny man jumping around going, ooh, I'm flying an aeroplane really fast, look at me. He's done other things than that. Not a man jumping out going, oh, I'll make you a cocktail. Yeah, it was a cocktail that got you into this trouble. Wasn't it a cocktail? The tail of the cock? I don't think it's the tail of a cock that got into that trouble. Well, it was a cock that got you into a big man's cock. Yes, it was probably a big man's cock that got the people pregnant. That's how sex happens and how babies are made. So, you know, you're not being clever by saying that. I think I'm being clever. You're not being clever. Uh, Tom Cruise kept landing his helicopter next door to the set, which you'd think as an act he would know not to do, right? That you shouldn't, if people are filming, you don't land a helicopter. But he, the thing with Tom Cruise, he, he doesn't like... Anyone else doing any acting, even in his own films. If someone else is acting in his film and he's not saying anything, he'll jump in a helicopter and fly it round to try and put off the other actor. Yeah, I, I think I saw that in Rain Man. Yeah, a few bits in Rain Man. A few of those takes are ruined and they couldn't rescue them with him, with his giant chopper. Yeah, did, did somebody say chopper? I mean, it's not your job to do that, to be fair. We've given, we've given so many opportunities... Did somebody say cocktail? Yeah, ages ago. Did somebody say uh, uteri? Yeah, they did, but that was not a double entendre. Yahoo! It's me, Cookie Carrot. 
Some people have forgotten I exist, that here I am, I'm still here, still on the lookout, and the listen out, there are any doodle ton tundras, doodle pun tundras here. What's that? Do I just sort of try and come up? Uh, I'm concerned that he smell carrots. Well, you are a carrot, yeah, so... That's. I think that's. A, if you could be a snowman's nose, that would joke would work. Oh, I can smell carrots. Well, you can't smell carrots because you're made out of resin. I'm not. I'm made out of carrot. How could you possibly survive three years made out of carrot? I'm a carrot. You're a phallic carrot made out of resin. No, Richard, I not. I will kill you. Don't look at me while you're saying. Don't look. No one can see you looking at me. Don't look directly. I'm dying. Going to kill you. Don't look, Phoebe's done the Victorian ghost has done all the kill killing stuff. And you, honey, don't look at me. I'm nothing to do with this. I'm cheeky me. No, that's not you. That's him. Okay, go back. You sit over there. You've done well. Um. Anyway, Tom Cruise, no, no, Taurus, he ruins ruins things with his big helicopter. Did somebody say helicopter? Yeah, I said helicopter. Yeah. Uh, David Beckham uh, is in trouble. Uh, inexcusable as ambassador for Qatar. Star has stayed silent over host human rights record and discrimination. Uh, despite the good work of Joe Lysett, which I knew all about everything that was going to happen, by the way, and I didn't tell a soul. So, I, you know, I'm the real hero of that whole stunt. Um, let's see. I mean, most people, I think, angry with David Beckham. But let's see what voice of the people he says, what we're all thinking. But we're too afraid to say. Let's see what uh, Marmite Lid has to say about it. With a smile and a quip, do you see what he did? He's the greatest cartoon character we've had since Hissing Sid. His eyes look like an oil spill, his mouth is like a skid. Mark, you love him or you hate him, it's Marmite Lid. Hi, Chris, just a little message for you, Chris Evans. Not that one, or that one. Um, my headphones don't work, so don't think it matters for anything. There's not, a, there's no going to be, I'm not going to do the magic button today because there's no birthdays. But uh, for future reference, we need to look into that. Uh, that's just a little note there. We can uh, slice that out of the actual broadcast when, it, when we do the, the live show. Uh, Hello, it's me, Night Lid. Yeah, I say what we're all thinking. I don't think anyone's thinking the stuff you say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's going on with old David Decker? A lot of people crossing in the supporting the Qatari regime. Yeah, I, yeah and, and he's... No, it's a totally care to that gay rights, is that? Yeah, I say thought and politics, don't mix. Don't mix them together. Just do thought and just do politics. They're not... Well, isn't everything politics? No, not at all. Well, some people say don't mix Marmite and lids and then try and turn them into a sort of rubbish, edgy stand-up comedian. You don't even have an edge. i got one edge, Richard. A uh, circle has an edge. Well, you're not edgy yet. Anyway... Uh, yeah, I think it's good. I think uh, I think gay and bisexual and transgender and whatever the X means. What is it? L G D T Q R S T U D W X Y Z. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not clever to. There's a lot of letters in L G B T Q plus and a plus sign, but that's it's not. You know, that's the sort of thing your granddad would say. I don't have the granddad, Richard. I was forged when some Narnight hit a Narnight lid and I did, I, I'm not a woman born. Good, Macbeth. Um, so, you know, try if you. it's not edgy to just do this, to say stuff that Piers Morgan would say. That doesn't make you an edgy... Imagine if you ended up doing the same material as Piers Morgan saying, you know, oh, I identify as an attack helicopter or whatever. And then going on stage in front of millions of people and, and just doing that material, thinking this is the same material Piers Morgan, the least funny man in the world, comes up with. So maybe I should do better. No, I, you know, I think... Don't give me equal rights, Richard. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, it's just boring, isn't it? It's just boring. Like, give everyone equal rights. That's It's just as simple as that. Treat everyone the same. People are allowed to do what they want. If a man wants to sit in his attic making various condiments lids talk even if that man is making the thing say awful things that is his right don't respect his right to do that and everything and all the other things people do that are that's not affecting it well this is affecting 123 other people and then maybe a few but 
thousand, maybe a thousand more on on uh, YouTube. So sorry. Marmite isn't a condiment. Uh, John Pardo's come out to say that. You, you know, the irony is you can't get Marmite in Qatar. It's banned. Uh, but from from Bex to Budweiser, it's quite a good, uh, just did quite a good link. Yes, Richard, that was very funny. Because um, Bex is a kind of bit. Yeah, I got it. Uh, talking of stuff that isn't allowed in Qatar. I think that was a brilliant link, wasn't it? I kind of all interwove the beer thing, but also this is... Um, the Budweiser that was sent to Qatar, there's a big warehouse of it uh, that was meant to be sold at games, but now can't be sold at games. Um, it's uh, there's a competition they're going to do to they're going to send Budweiser. Is it dear, Richard? Is it what? Is it dear? Is it dear? I, I don't know how much it costs. Not is it dear? Is it dear? Is not is it dear? Is it gear? No. <sighs> is it is Dudweiser is Dudweiser and is it really dear? Is Dudweiser really dear? I don't know what you're trying to say. Um, it's not really an alcoholic drink, is it? It's not a, an efficient, it's like a horrible, nasty, alcohol free load of shit like you're drinking. That's lovely alcohol free Guinness I'm drinking. You look a little drunk. Yeah, you're a little drunk. Hey, that's no joke. Um, Anyway, they're going to send all the Budweiser to the country that wins the World Cup uh, to one of the stadiums so all the fans can enjoy it, I presume, for th for free. I mean, it's going to be a mayhem. But my question to you, Budweiser, is what if Qatar wins the World Cup? Or any of the other countries where alcohol is banned? Have you thought about that? Oh, you're just assuming the Middle East can't win, can you, Budweiser? You, you racists. Let's start a campaign against Budweiser, the racist beer... That is also a shit beer. That's what I was saying. Uh, not like Budvar, the original Czechoslovakian drink. That is a delightful, hoppy lager. When I went to Prague in the early 90s, it cost like about 20p for th two litres of the stuff. Uh, I just got absolutely wrecked. Oh, those, I was, those were the days. Those were healthy days. When I was young, I wasn't single. I had a girlfriend, but, you know, it didn't work out. And uh, we could just go and prance around in Prague without any children turning up, ruining everything. Yeah. What if she heard you say that? You can't say it was the fuck this time. Uh, hopefully she wasn't listening. And she, the thing is, what they know, they know it's difficult because I love them so. Much. Oh, don't turn, don't do. Everyone loves their kids. You're not special. I just love them so much. It's so horrible to you know for you to have hurt her in the way you do. You really think it's me? I think, you know, it's, she was upset by what you said. Yeah, Richard, have a look at what you're doing and have a look at yourself. Don't blame me. I told her it was you that said it. Did she fall for that? No, she's eight, nearly eight years old. She said that, that we are the same and we share the same brain. Oh, that's ridiculous. Um, but I explained that you say horrible things. I do not, you fucking cunt. Anyway, let's move on. I want to watch uh, Taskmaster tonight. My wife is uh, away for the weekend. She's doing Drunk Women Solving Crime. Not sure if there are any tickets left, but she's doing... Uh, she's in Bristol tonight. It's too late to go and see her tonight. Uh, she's in Manchester on Sunday, Saturday. And she's somewhere tomorrow. Liverpool, I want to say. I should know, shouldn't I? What kind of a husband am I? An amazing one. Uh, oh, look, there's big stuff news. Uh... Look at that. A fisherman caught a uh, £67 goldfish. That is unbelievable. That's the kind of thing we want a puppet of, isn't it? A gigantic goldfish puppet. That's... It looks like, a, you know, that... You, I didn't know goldfish could grow at £67. It's a big one, isn't it? It's a, two kinds of carp mixed together. I mean, imagine if you got that in the fair. Yeah, take that home and put it in a little bowl. Well, I don't suppose that would ever happen, Richard, due to the large size... Well, they must start little. Mm, yeah, probably not that little. It's funny, isn't it? Big, a big goldfish. Who would have thought that would turn up? He caught it. It looks quite pissed off. I think he put it back in again. They tend to, don't they? It's got a big old tum on it. Looks a bit like you. Shut up, it does not. Do, 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 you're not orange. I'm not orange. And uh, look, this is in big bum news. Uh, I wake up at 4am daily to make sure I have the world's biggest bum. Troll says it's ridiculous, but I don't care. Uh, how does she... Why does she have to get up at 4am to make sure... Well, I don't know. Is she getting over at the 4am and going, looking in the mirror and going, yep, yeah, still got the world's biggest one. 
Yeah, I don't know. She wakes up at 4 a.m., uh, checks her bum, goes, it's the biggest bum. Um, she probably tweets it. Then trolls go, why are you, what are you doing coming on Twitter at 4 a.m. to say you've got the world's biggest bum? Uh, and you, it's ridiculous to do that. They might not be mocking her big, but she's got a big bum. I don't know if it's the world's biggest one. Uh, she doesn't care. But, you know, why get up at 4 a.m. to check you've got the world's biggest bum? It's my... That's my question to her. That's my question to her as well. Richard. We're on a like mind on this one, aren't we? We're on the same page with this one, Richard. Um, I wake up at 4 a.m. to make sure I have the world's biggest bum. Yeah, I wake up 4 a.m. because I need a wee. I don't tweet about it. Sometimes I do. So I've got nothing else to do. That's the big bum news. Um, oh, and in uh, there's the world's oldest living cat crowned in South East London. Uh, you know, I'm always wary of the world's oldest thing because it's a death sentence, isn't it? They become the world's oldest thing and then they die and they're no longer. It seems the minute they get that title, within months they're gone. I, the thing I would, would worry about in this, Richard, yes, Ali, isn't that it's uh, the world's oldest cat. Good luck to it. How old is it? It's 27 human years. That's according to 120, it's 124 in cat years. That's very old. I'm worried that somebody has crowned this cat. In the rival uh, to uh, King Charles. Solon said, let's take this cat and let's make this cat the king. A cat can look at a king. Yeah, but a cat can't be the king, Richard. That's the whole point. And, you know, if you're going to choose someone to try and take on the monarchy, don't choose a really fucking old cat. Don't crown it. That's ridiculous. At least you got a cat, choose a young cat. Shouldn't they? they should choose a young cat. Then there's a chance that cat could be on the throne for 10, 15 years. This guy's not going to be on the throne, even if his claim is recognised by the courts, which seems incredibly unlikely. You can't just put a crown on a cat and say it's the King of England. But let's say they do it, and the courts go, yeah, you got us. The King Charles hasn't even been coronated yet, and this cat is the winner. Then choose a young cat. Get a kitten. Then there's a chance to make some distance to this world. That's what I say to you. That's good. Let's get to Aquamarina on here uh, to talk about her. Still haven't got a. Well, we have. We'll take a break for Christmas, and I might, if I remember, to write something. I won't remember. It's Sybil, beautiful Sybil. She lives in the past, the future, and present. All at the same time. It's Sybil. A predictable Sybil. Here she comes flying through the sky. With tape all over her face. It's his knee, Sybil. I see it all. It is signing so much pain. I, want you, I die. Don't become the donkey. Uh, here are last week's predictions. Yes. I'm not going to predict anything for next week because there isn't a show next week. Well, you could predict something for the end of the year. We'll see. Um, oh, that, that's... I've looked at the wrong page. I don't remember. I thought Velma will lick out a female Frankenstein. That happened, Richard. Did it? Yeah. Did I check it? You checked it. It happened. Uh, Jizzamy Cunt will lose a leg in a car door, was your prediction last week. Uh, he did. I know that he did make a joke about some wallpaper. Let's head over to my other computer screen. How'd I get the clicker over? It's really annoying. Oh, that's so clever. Jeremy Cunt. Oh, no, I better put Jeremy Cunt. Jeremy Hunt. Car door. Let's have a look, see what comes up. Uh, Jeremy Hunt. Chauffeured 50 yards to avoid Downing Street. Everything I said has come true. That was from 2016. It's nearly true. Eight days ago, uh, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt announced car tax changes for electric vehicles. That's eight days ago. That was the day before you made that. Which is still good by any chance. Uh, Jeremy Hunt. Uh, still struggling to work out how to make this work. This computer. There we go. Uh, Jeremy Hunt thought he was being pranked. When Liz Trust wanted to talk to him. There isn't anything about car door or him losing a leg. Have you checked it? All right, let me check losing a leg. He might have lost a leg. Do you think the NHS would still treat him if he lost a leg? Who knows, Richard? And I can't see the future. Um, no. 
He was on the last leg. Gr Grambling State Senior nearly lost leg over gruesome injury. Jeremy Hunt has overruled the Bank of England. I think this is just the two things. Yeah, that was close. Jeremy Hunt and Nadim Zawahi have been eliminated in the first round of the Tory leadership. Right, that's old news. Right. England will lose their opening match 3 1. That is what I said, and that is what happened, Richard. Because I can't look at that. Because I see the future and it does. Let's have it. I'm, I'm not sure the score was 3 1. I don't really. But the, the, the chat room is saying check it. Uh, I, I believe England played Iran in the first match. What was the score? I'm just getting used to a new keyboard that I don't think England be Iran. Let's find out. The score was 6-2 to England. So almost right. That's interesting. You said 3-1 and it was 6-2. Exactly double that. Exactly, Richard. You said England would lose, but they won. Exactly. Okay. You said, so zero out of two so far. You said James Corden will be impolite to someone. I mean, you'd think that was a shoe in I can't remember any news story this week about James Corden being impolite to anyone. I don't know if anyone has any thoughts. I'll check it. People are saying I should check it. Let's give it a check. James Corden. Impolite. Oh, something's happened there. Impolite. Here we go. James Corden admits he was rude and ungracious. So that was at the uh, New York restaurant. James Corden involved in humiliating... I don't really have to go there every time I do this. Uh, confrontation, uh, that's from October. Nothing in the last week. He has been rude, but it was a month ago. Another failure. Ian Lavender will become a victim of the curse of Dad's army. Now, I, as far as I know, that hasn't happened. I don't think I need to check that. Because uh, I would have, but I suppose he could have died in uh, in the last. Could have died in the. We had to, same check it. I'll just check. He could have died just recently, couldn't he? Let's try to make this work. Oh man, I should just use my phone. I'll just use my phone. Why is this? No, there we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Why is technology so hard? Why can't everything be the same? I'll check out Ian Lavender, stage actor. Uh, born 16th of February 1946. Are any of Dad's army still alive? Yeah, uh, Ian Lavender is, I think. Oh, come on, come on. Work, you mofo. Why is it so hard? He isn't dead. Uh, a storm of testicles will hit Carlisle before and after the sheep of man shall... something? Men shall... Me mew... Can't read your handwriting. Your handwriting? I know. Um, let's put that into to Google. I'm going to do it on my phone because it's a bit quicker. <sighs> a storm of testicles. I just put storm of testicles. Car. I'm checking it. Don't Shane check it. I put storm of testicles, Carlisle, and then see if we if that bit's true. Then before and after. Nina, Nicki Minaj, Brands BBC's Laura Koonsberg, Dumbo amid Twitter storm. Many medical experts highlighted to Minaj that swollen testicles are not a symptom of a COVID vaccine. That's from 2021. Uh, testicle lumps and swellings. Carlisle, Carlisle sale by Zara Morrison. Carlisle blonde. That's a type of flower. Dorset horn. Don't know why that's come in. Cut. Yeah. Customer reviews, Carlisle Super Lug 13 slash 56A. Their tyres. I found them to be worth every penny. The deep lugs really grip into the mud. Hold air even after going over tree. Uh, I think it's a whitewash of failure for Sybil this week. I'm sorry. Do you want to predict anything for the next time we'll be on? I mean, you know, I'd rather we just went home and called it a day. It's been quite laid back, isn't it, this week? Um, got any thoughts? Paddy McGuinness. Oh, here we go. He came out of it, didn't he? All right. Will be seen in the arms of a burly man. Will be seen in the arms of a burly man. I mean, that's not as bad as other things. Uh, I mean, that's probably going to happen. 
Yeah. Jizz and the cunt. Yeah. Jizz and me. Cunt. Will the cunt prime minister? Well, okay. Well, we don't know when the next show is, so that could that could have happened. This we've had this prime minister for a very long time, so it's about time for a change. Ian Lavender. Yeah. Will fall victim to the curse of Dad's army. Well, you know that could be not. That might not be death. I hope we. I love, I've met Liam, yeah, Ian Lavender and Liam Lavender. Fall victim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh, the sun shall fall from the sky. The sun shall fall from. That might be metaphorical. No, literally, from the sky. I mean, if that happens. Or onto the planet Earth. It will fall onto the planet Earth. Okay, onto the planet Earth. Uh, one more. Go on. I think you've. I think you've, you've hit four out of zero out of four. Do you want to try and get one that will definitely work? Uh, there will be some Christmas ads. Okay, we'll see if that has come true. Next time we're here. Uh, if you tune in on Tuesday, if I'm here, I think I'm here. I can't remember. Then I might not be here. Then uh, we'll see. You can see the end of that eBay for those two items. Um, and I'm going to put some more stuff up as well. That we'll get to you before Christmas, hopefully, if the Royal Mail can be relied on, which they can't really. Uh, look, there's more news stories. Thank you to Sybil. Sybil, beautiful Sybil. Uh, Prince Andrew is the musical to take a, tom a comic turn on Channel Four. Um, uh, Munya Chihuahua from Taskmaster, which I'm going to watch in a minute, is in it, playing Prince Charles, I believe. Uh, Kieran Hodgson, very funny comedian, is playing Prince Andrew. Uh, Jenny Bede, very funny. And Emmy Sid Emma, Emma Siddy, very funny people uh, involved in this. But to find out what the Duke of York thinks about it, let's go over... Don't, don't get away on, on yet. No, we won't. Okay, let's go over to the Duke of York. Save the Duke of York His skin is as dry as chalk Ignore all the talk When others are poking He's eating out in woking He's never going to be the king He's the Duke Hello, Richard. Still couldn't hear anything, by the way, Chris. Just for, your, just for FYI. Um, hello, it's me, the Duke of York. Good to see you here. And, uh, uh, you know, I haven't done anything wrong. I was in... Uh, I was in, yeah, Ladbrokes at the time. We were yeah, betting on Greyhounds. What time? In the time you think I was doing something... Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about the uh, the musical they're making. Oh, is it someone making a musical like Hamilton? Is that Hannah and Thur things that didn't need? No, I think it's a, a com it looks like it's a comedy th thing um, based on your recent talk. That is outrageous, Richard. I don't think anybody in their right mind would try and make comedy out of the terrible situation I found myself in. Whether you believe me or not, if you don't believe me, I do believe you, uh, Prince Andrew. Why would you lie? Why would I lie? It's no threat to me, what happened? No threat. Don't do that. Uh, if you believe all the stories, is that funny? To joke without middle-aged men looming over the young women? I don't think that's necessarily what the joke is. And it is not true. Which it isn't, by the way, because I was in... I wasn't there. You weren't where. Wherever they said I was, I wasn't there. So what if they said you were somewhere, somewhere innocent? I was there. Oh, you were there, yeah. Then it's not right. Didn't make a joke. No, I know that you should be making jokes on that nice situation. You must agree with. Well, we really don't make any jokes on this show, do we? No, I think you're trying to, aren't you? I don't know. I don't know what's going. I, sometimes Prince Andrew. Yes, don't look at me directly in the eye. I don't like it. Well, I'm looking you directly in the. Eye. I don't like it. I'm looking you. I know it scares me. Sometimes I don't know what's going on, Prince Andrew. I think you know. Why am I still doing this? Lockdown finished two years ago. It was a year ago. Is it? It feels like longer. Um, 
the first one probably finished two years ago. Yeah, good point. And, uh, you know, here I am still talking to puppets to 128 people. Is, is that gone up or down from what I said last time? It's basically the same. What are they? What's wrong with them that they're watching it? What's wrong with me? Why is your head like so far? I'm just looking at you. Um, stop looking at me. Why am I doing this? Well, I think you're deeply disturbed. Maybe you've been through some kind of trauma that you don't want to talk about directly. Well, that I have been through a trauma, but I was doing this before the trauma, so I don't think that can be. And this is your way to... Maybe there's a trauma you don't know about. Maybe you in a coma somewhere and this is your your brain. Like Richard Os... Not Richard Osman. You know Richard Osman was in that crash? Richard Hammond. Yeah, Richard Hammond was in that crash. And his brain took him to a tree in the Lake District. He was walking towards the tree... And he knew if he got to the tree, that would be it. He'd die, and his eyes shattered. And in real life, and he could hear someone telling him off. He thought he was in trouble, and he didn't go to the tree. And he walked away, and he survived, Richard, because his eyes shattered out. I don't know about any of this. Maybe you uh, also in a coma. Maybe you had a terrible accident. Well, let's hope so, because it'd be better than what's happening. And you're using who would send you a neutral tactic like this to use? Oh, come on, the get real. Uh, you know, that's the honest that wants in our lives. And uh, maybe you're just trying to keep your mind together, imagining a wonderful show, a brilliant show with thousands and millions of years. Wouldn't I imagine there were millions? Of, would I, if I was, if this was in my mind and I was imagining it and I was on TV 25 years ago and there were millions of people watching me uh, and now I was in my attic talking to a puppet I'm not a tough it, Prince Andrew, or whatever. Uh, and 139 people are watching. Um, why, if it was in my brain, wouldn't I not imagine like a billion people watching? Because that would be too obviously a lie, Richard. Well, this is too obviously a lie. It wouldn't be... Only, there wouldn't, if this was happening, there'd be, a, you know, 2 million people 30 years ago. There'd still be, say, 500,000 of those would still be interested in what I was up to. Not 131. It's 134. Well, that's you know, semantics. It's the same thing. So this can't be real because there would be 500,000 people watching if it was real. So it's like my mind saying, you know, you're doing something humiliating and awful and only a tiny amount of people are, are watching it. Should we get that to me? Well, I, you know, I think we might be making a breakthrough. I might be able to wake up from the coma if I realise it is a coma. If I don't do that, then I'll die. Well, if you wake up, Richard, then all of us, all of us puppets here... You said you weren't a puppet. I oh, mean, me and all the puppets. Yeah. We will all die. It's in our interest to keep you here. And why did you start telling me I was, it wasn't real? I don't know. It was stupid of me. I don't know. I, when I get interviewed, I just say the wrong thing, Richard. Haven't you fucking noticed? Like my stupid bloody mouth, my problem is I got too much dignity and too much honesty. And I respect you too much and too virtuous. That is your problem. What do you think about the Andrew musical? You know, if it's on my side. Oh, Prince Andrew went to Teacher Express. He didn't eat to excess. He just had a margarita. That's what he likes to eat. Her. And then he had some dodos. And no, were there any 15 year olds? No, not at all. And then he had uh, some tiramisu. Did he try and ring a younger court too? No, he didn't, because he was a nice guy. Why does everyone say he's not a nice guy when he's clearly quite a nice guy who's got a little bit other oh, than I? So that you know who doesn't, I'm only human. That you think that's what it's going to be? Oh, that's the feature of Thress Calypso. <laughs> was that a Calypso? Yeah. What else would the song be? Oh, Thuggy, you came and you gave me a doja. And I turned you away, oh, Thuggy. I mean, this is probably as good as whatever's in the, uh, in the thing. What else you got? Oh, Prince Charles, why were you born first? You will be the worst king this country's ever seen. It should have been me, it should have been me. I wandered and round and finally found someone to blow me. Why is it all about blowjobs? 
And no other else. That's turning to like a famous song we probably got copyright for. Did the thrill? The roll of my thoughts yielded me still. I don't think people do. No sweat. No sweat. Oh yeah, I hadn't sweated yet. I used to sweat that now I can't get a sweat on cos I was in the Thorklands and there was a thorn. It blew me up and my adrenaline got so big that my salty little twigs wouldn't come out. Your salty little twigs? I couldn't get the rhyme. Wouldn't come out of my thaws. And that's why I turned to teenage whores. Are you admitting that? No, this is what they'll say. Okay, this is what they'll say. Yes. Not nice to call them teenage whores. That's what they were. No sweat. Okay, well, it's been lovely to see you, Prince Andrew. Yes, I mean, you know, very good improvisation of songs again. I really couldn't have done any better than that myself. Thank you. Um, I want people to know, you know, you won't believe this. There was no preparation involved in that whatsoever. Go and sit back by the computer. Uh, no birthday donkey today. No one bothered to send one in. Of the 500,000 people I assume are watching. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, uh, let's have a look. See if there's anything there. Have you done the old cat? I mean, there's this. I don't think I can bother to talk about this. Can you? Can you? West asked Donald Trump that he has 2024 presidential run late. We knew that. Yeah, that's a bit better. You could have done that at the beginning of the show. Um, I mean, yeah, just a nightmare. Other things. Uh, oh, this new story I saw. Police detect 70,000 victims in UK's biggest anti-thrall operation. There's lots of people who've been defrauded via text. They didn't know that. It, the police have found out. Now they're going to text them all. I can't see that being subverted in any way. Can you? I can't see that. I can't see that being a problem. I can't see anyone else. It's going to happen tomorrow, apparently. Yeah, they're doing it tomorrow, so it's good to give the criminals some warning. So if you get a text from the police tomorrow, do click on it and do whatever it says, because it will definitely be genuine. I mean, if I get a text about anything or an email, I don't click the link, even if it looks like it's real now. So, you know, if it comes, if it goes, you've been conned, t click this link to take you through to how we'll tell you about it. Uh, it will cost you 50 quid to get the information, but then you'll get your three million pounds back. Oh, have we done it all? I think we've done it all, Richard. Uh, they've got those bats from last week. I still can't. Um, shall we do some? Uh, shall we do some fluffy? Why don't we make some toys of of uh, cocky carrot and try and sell them for Christmas? I don't know why, Richard. I don't know why that wouldn't work. Didn't you say it last week? I did. Uh, do you want to sing Jimmy Cunt to end with? No, I don't think so, Richard. You know. I'm not the kind of guy who repeats material. Not the hell. Uh, and, you know, the, what, as my old friend Elton John said, Oh, yeah, dadushka, 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 oi, oi, oi. Oh, dadushka, 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 oi, oi, oi. Ooh, ooh. Da dushka, da dushka, da dushka, ay, ay. I'm going to end with Babushka. This might be the last one we do before Christmas. No, it might be. No, we'll do a Christmas one. What about the King of Christmas? Where is he? He's over there. I can't be able to reach over. I'm the King of Christmas. Woohoo! I'm the King of the Christmas. There he is. Off, 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 Mike. He sounded quite on Mike, didn't he? No, I don't think so. Prince Andrew's in the way of the... Oh chat room uh, yeah someone's making their own marmite lid you can do that you can make your own marmite lid quite easily with uh, a marmite lid and some marmite um, they want uh, an early Christmas song okay uh, you know it's, ne it's nearly a month to Christmas you know tomorrow uh, I'll be writing the the if, if I write my blog tomorrow, which I think I probably will, uh, or tonight, if I write it tonight, which I don't think I will, uh, that will be 20 years complete. The day after is my uh, 20th anniversary of the first time I blogged. But I've blogged every... If I do tomorrow, I'll have blogged every single day for 20 years. And yeah, and nobody's ever mentioned it in any any context. 
no, no one's ever said that's quite interesting or that's pretty sad. Anything never been in the papers. I'm sure it's mentioned. I don't think so. Um, after the first year, I thought, well, so probably a journalist will go. This is pretty amazing. Richard Taylor's written an article every day for 365 days. <sighs> I don't do it for that, though, guys. I do it for me. I do it for myself. And it's been a wonderful thing. Do write. Uh, you don't have to put it online. Do write. Just keep writing. And then you'll be fine. The thing is, I could have had all sorts of mental issues that would have hit me quite hard. Um, but I can just write about them. And that's why I am the together uh, and normal guy that you, you're witnessing now. Oh, I'm pretty tired. Yeah. Do you want to sing a Christmas song? Hark the herald angels sing, ding dong, merrily on high. Well, they're, the herald, yeah, they're singing a different song. Listen. So the herald angels are singing, ding dong, merrily on high, yeah. That is the hymn they like the most. And it's a hymn. Uh, shout out. That is the carol they most enjoy. It's better than this one which will begin to annoy. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. That is what the herald angels say. Singing loud at that sun bells. Cause they don't remember that Christmas is actually their Jesus and that's what they, it's their job to tell. Hark to the herald angels singing. Jingle bells a jingle jingling. I mean, you know, you guys have been great at just coming up with stuff today. Um, I wish I had half the talent you guys did just to be able to make up brilliant songs that rhyme so perfectly like that and scan so well. So uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Um, we'll see when we're back next time. Do check out the, that eBay thing if you, uh, you want to help us... Uh, make more podcasts. Um, there will be some quite cool things going up in the, in the rest of the week if I get time to put them up. Uh, did somebody say jingle bells? Yeah, you just got that off the chat room. Too late. And, oh, nearly touched the wrong background. Uh, we'll be, is that Prince Andrew there? What's this in the corner here? What's, 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 what's suddenly come in? Where's that? That's over. Is it you? I can't even work out which side it's on. So it's over there somewhere. Is it this? No, what is it? Is it you? No, it's you there. Oh, it's the, is it the edge of my seat? No. What is that? What is that in the edge of the corner there? Why have I gone mad? Is it this? Oh, it's a little bit. The, it's the new screen has crept in. We'll sort that out one of these fine days, my finest of friends. All right. Love to the family. And uh, we'll see you. The eBay link is ebay.co.uk. And I'm Herring1967. Check that out. Um, someone will put it up in the chat, I'm sure. Uh, there's a little thing in the corner. Ah, you'll be telling me I'm going crazy next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, we'll try and get rid of that little girl that I know is annoying you all. She's the worst thing in it, right? Uh, I think she's the best thing in it. I think she's the only thing keeping it going. And uh, we should have ended on the song. We'll see you... Uh, Maybe before Christmas, if not, see you in 2023, motherfuckers. Check it. Uh, line. <laughs>